Do you remember how the premiere of MLP Season 4 takes place around the Summer Sun Celebration? Then that would mean that the time elapsed between Seasons 1 and 4 would be a year. It, that is, if the Summer Sun Celebration is an annual thing. No way that can work! And now, I will tell you why. Intro go! Okay, determining the frame of time in which MLP takes place is kind of tricky, since it ne has never actually been said in the show how long a season takes, or how long, or how much time passes between episodes, which sort of allows the writers to pull this kind of thing without the fandom writing. Versus in most other TV shows with some of kind of continuity, you are actually given an actual span of time in which a season of the show takes place. For example, Star Trek. In all of the Star Trek TV series, except for the original series, they actually tell you that one season is a year. Well, not fourth wall break tell you, just they imply it. While in MLP, we have no idea how long a season is in the time continuum that MLP takes place. However, using the magic of math, we can calculate how long a season is. Do you remember how in season one, Twilight had to, to write a letter in every single episode? Or how in Lesson Zero, Twilight said she had to write a letter every week? Good, because those are our constant variables. <laughs> that was such an oxymoron. Silly nuclear catfish, you can't have a constant variable. Well, shut up me, because this is my video and I'll do whatever I dang want. Okay, using that information, we can conclude that about one week occurs between each episode. So, then that means that season one took about 25 weeks because the premiere was a two-parter. We can also conclude that season two took about 24 weeks because that premiere, because the premiere and finale were two-parters. We also can conclude that season three took about 12 weeks because once again, the premiere was a two-parter. So if we add all those together, we get 61 weeks. Now, a year is about 52 weeks, give or take a few decimals, so that's overshooting a year by 9 weeks. Now, that's just one piece of condemning evidence. There's also the fact that in between seasons 1 and 4, there are two winters. Now, most of you know that normally there are about one winters in a year, which is not the case in MLP. You see, the one winter was the winter wrap-up. Winter. Anyway, the next winter is the Hearthswarming Eve winter, a whole 25 weeks later. Also, does anyone think it's weird that the cartoon horses celebrate their equivalent of Independence Day when they should be celebrating a Christmas? No? Just me? Hmm. I digress. I'd also like to point out that the winter wrap-up winter takes place before autumn. Yeah, winter wrap-up is episode 11, and Fall Weather Friends is episode 13. Is that enough evidence that this is screwed up? Of course, this whole time I've been assuming that the MLP planet has a similar orbit to Earth, which raises the question, how does the whole Celestia controlling the sun thing work? But that's a theory for another episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, do you like listening to my voice? If you do, you should check out my other MLP videos or check out my Let's Play videos. If you enjoyed, leave a like on this video or subscribe to my channel. Thank you and good night, everybody.